Hey everyone, this is CLR Gaming. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's good to have you guys. And welcome to another episode of the Oregon Trail. In the last one, we did the Pushed West journey, where we played as Annie and her father John, and we're looking for our brother slash son, who ended up being Black Beaver, but we didn't find him. But we did unlock Rendezvous, where all the trappers go, is what I understand. So let us do that one since we unlocked it in the last one. It says, join the revelry and outright mayhem at the rendezvous as a fresh group of boastful trappers attempt to one up each other in a contest for the best hunting story. Oh boy. <laughs> we have seen my hunting skills. You guys know what those quote unquote skills are. So this should be fun. We unlock the guide class if we complete this challenge. So let's do it. Let's get into some Oregon Trail. Hope you guys are having a good Saturday. Here we go, July 18, 1836. The sun is setting and a group of hunters and trappers are gathered around a campfire at the annual rendezvous, singing songs, shouting, and enjoying all the other extravagances that they could invent. They begin to boast and tell stories of their travels. They want to decide who among them is the most skilled. Oh boy. Quien es más macho? As the light fades and the stories grow taller, the contest becomes as fierce as the fire itself. Who should speak next? Okay. Let's start with uh, Frances. I don't know too much about her. A shooting contest would settle the score, but I can't find where I left my rifle. A story will have to do. Frances leans forward with a smile on her face. Which story does she choose to tell? Oh boy. Should we start with the hard stuff? Let's start medium. Squirrels are difficult. Let's start with coyotes. Coyotes are quick, but they make a good meal if you can catch them. Let me tell you, I ate well that night. Frances smiles as she tells the story of her coyote hunt. Oh, Frances, I'm going to make you look like a fool. Uh, it's not going to look good, Frances, and I apologize in advance. All right. There's one. <laughs> oh, 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 he's so fast. There's two and three. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, first miss. It. Nope, second miss. Oh, third. It's, it's, it's all going to hell. <gasps> it started off so strong, so strong. Ooh, ooh. Nope. I want that angle to be sharper. We only got one more. Maybe I can get that one. And she did. Well, 80 pounds. Let's see how the story goes. Well, you fed us one heck of a story, Francis. That's for sure. Not sure if I believe it, though. Oh, okay, okay. Were they impressed? Francis' story scored a total of 2,220 points. Her accuracy was 53%. <laughs> that, that seems about right. All right, let's go as Peter, since he had something to say. Now, there's no need to get so competitive. I'll tell you a story, and you'll plainly see who among us is the most skilled. Peter, is, isn't he the, is he the one that likes that Miss B lady? Let's make him look silly. Anyone can learn to shoot big game, but only a true marksman can make a fashionable hat out of squirrels in under a minute. Oh boy, Peter gives the group a sly smile and begins to tell his story of squirrel shooting. Oh Peter, you're not going to be impressing Miss B tonight, let me tell you that. Oh, and it's nighttime? Is it nighttime? It is nighttime. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> no squirrels were killed that night. That's how that story needs to go. I mean, I can't even. Can I get that one? I did get that one. Peter, you may just impress the ladies. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Look at look at the massacre. The squirrels will speak of this day. Logan. Nope. I'm sorry, Peter. I tried. Hey, 40 pounds of squirrel meat. 
I'd be impressed if I believed a word of it, Peter. I reckon you're going to tell us you had your eyes closed, too. Hey, Peter's story scored a total of 1,980 points, 47% accuracy. It was squirrels, not too bad. All right, Robert, let's go. That's all you got? You ain't seen nothing. Robert pauses for a moment as though trying to remember past events or make them up. Which story does he decide to tell? We'll let B get the bears. How's that sound? You ever see a hundred bison stampeding at you? Well, I saw 200 and they were... Bigger than usual, too. Robert pours another drink as he begins his tale of the giant bison. Oh, boy. I'm hoping the worst of it is, is over. There we go. That's more my speed. Ooh, that one had some... Oh, did I not get that one? Wow, how did that bullet... I'll just oh man this is I was gonna say too easy as <laughs> the bullet missed I'm gonna run out of bullets here look at this this is horrible I have guilt 360 pounds well I'll be a load of hogwash. You'll be wanting us to call you Buffalo Bob before the night is through. Hey, hey. Robert's story scored a total of 5,140 points. His accuracy was 84%. I think that's the highest accuracy I've ever had. All right, and finally, our lady, Miss B. I've been hunting since I was a child. I'll tell you a tale of true skill, and I promise every word is true. B leans forward with a serious look on her face. Which story should she tell? The only one left to tell, the bears. I have married four wives. What? Fought off many fearsome raids and brought prestige and wealth to my lodge. When I was attacked by bears, it was not fear I felt, but determination. B tosses another log onto the fire and begins to tell her story of the bear attack. Oh boy, hope we do a good job. I've been talking this lady up. Let's not. I think they need to be shot three times, right? Bears? Oop. Come back, bear. Oh my goodness, no. Get him. I got him. Got him. Oh, I'm out of bullets. You're lucky, bear. 210 pounds. Damn. Should have given her the bison, so her story would have been the greatest. Not too bad. If you shot any bears, then it's only because they were hibernating. What? Then be fighting words. B's story scored a total of 2,450 points and 70% accuracy. That's not too bad. The excited revelry continues into the early morning. By then, no one can quite remember what stories have been told, and the question of who among them is the greatest hunter remains unanswered. Next year, the fabled buffalo herds will no doubt grow larger, the bears more ferocious, the coyotes quicker, and the squirrels even more malice. Those squirrels are horrible. Is that it? Hunt complete. This year's rendezvous will go down in history as one of the greats with plenty of singing dancing and other merriment most of all nobody will ever forget the outrageous stories that were told regardless of how little truth they may have contained okay not quite what i was expecting that was a real quick one let me check my recording 12 minutes continue and we unlocked the guide class that one's new i don't recall seeing this guy before i like his shoes did that unlock any other journeys? I don't see that it unlocked any new journey or something. I really thought we were going to see like the ending of Black Beaver catching up with his parents. Now there is another quick one that I wanted to to do. It's called White Water. And I think we keep going until we die. We go on the raft. See how far you can steer your raft down the rapids of the Columbia River in this endless version of the classic minigame. And if we do this, we unlock the Book of Hymns. Let's check it out. <laughs> Well, what happened? 
The party of travelers awakens on the bank of the Columbia River. Battered and bruised, they are surrounded by the sodden remains of their belongings and broken wagon. Uh-oh. The raft we hired just outside the Dells was a sorry-looking thing, but we pushed off and started floating down the Columbia River regardless. The voyage was surprisingly pleasant at first, but then the current began to pick up. It starts out nice, Catherine. Then it's all downhill after that. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm not trying to beat any records, but uh, lasting a little longer than two minutes would be nice. Look at us, professionals. We don't need three boats. We can do it with just one. <laughs> it's getting faster. Just, just a little faster. 30 times multiplier. I like that. This feels like one of those, uh, like, green tea pours from Dave the Diver. I cannot talk and ford the river at the same time. Eh, she's doing it. Oh my goodness, do you see these skills? Oh, oh, that, that almost, I almost bit it. There is so much debris. our first hit two boats left 9,000 is our score so far Let's see if we can get that multiplier back up again to 30 Ooh, it is it is harder though oh, and there goes the second hit try to try to eat that corner and I ate it all right Oh boy. Oh boy. I feel like the end is near, my friends. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh. These. Woo! Did you see that? Be amazed. I know I am. <laughs> oh, watch out for the log. Oh no. Oh, nope. Nope. That's it. That's it. Alright, just for funsies, 13,000. Definitely gonna try and beat that. At least, I think that's what happened. Oh yeah, that's what happened. Yes, I'm sure that's right. This is infinite, so there is no ending to it. It's just to see how high a score you can get. I never expected us to make it so far in such a poorly built raft, but I knew it would come apart eventually. You and me both, Catherine. I'm just glad most of our provisions survived. I'm glad you all survived. Did you see the speed at which you hit that rock? Journey complete. Rafting the Columbia River is not without danger. It was fortunate that the party of travelers survived after they crashed and were washed ashore. See if you can make it even farther next time. I will. And we unlock the hymn book by completing that. Awesome. Well, guys, there is a trail or two left. It's a scenic sightseer route. I'm not quite sure what that that entails. I think it's just getting the animals. I'll do it off camera and see if it's worthy of uh, recording or not. It's not that it's not fun. It just doesn't make for a great video. And the same thing with this scenic journey. I'll check those two out off camera. Unless, of course, it's something you guys want to see. You're going to have to let me know. But it, 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 it is what it says. It's tranquil. I don't think there's any um, threat of dying or anything like that. It's just to enjoy the game, which I highly suggest you do if you have this game on your own. And these two to the the scenic journey and the nature trail are the last two we have to do to get this fully complete after that i think we've we've completed the oregon trail now you guys are gonna have to let me know i'll probably put a poll up and please leave a comment we can always do the oregon trail journey again there is a harder setting now i believe that we can put so we can do the oregon trail at a harder setting and now that we've unlocked all the stuff the hymn books the traps we can play with that there is this grandfather clock i don't know the purpose of it but i think you get an achievement if you're able to 
carry it from the very start of the Oregon Trail all the way to Oregon. It takes up a lot of room in the wagon, uh, which adds to the challenge. But if that's something you guys want to see, if you're interested in seeing some more Oregon Trail, please let me know. If not, we'll hang up Oregon Trail for a little bit. So please, 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 I need your feedback. I love the game. I'm interested in playing a harder journey, but only if you guys are wanting to see it. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. I appreciate you all watching. You have a good one. Stay safe. And until the next time, bye.